they have thoughts. They have journey. And then you have toil and labor. So somebody is thinking about somebody. Um, they could be thinking about this person. Um, whoever this per whoever the person is that they're thinking about, this person is someone that started some type of new beginning. This person went towards a whole another direction and they're in this toil and labor energy, like working very hard. And they could be working, um, doing a lot of work by their self. And somebody is like thinking about that person heavy. You have message. They could want to communicate with this person. Talk to this person. Then you have great fortune. You have wealthy man. Then you have the privileged lady and then bad health. So whoever this person is, <clears throat> they could be in some type of relationship or a commitment. Because the privileged lady and the mature, I mean, the privileged lady and the wealthy man, these are a pair. Um, whoever that person is, they have great fortune. It's like they could be someone that um, has a stable foundation. They have built some type of long-term success for their self. And they have, you know, constant stability coming in financially for them. But then you have privileged lady here with bad health. Somebody could be sick or um, dealing with some type of bad health. Maybe their partner is sick. Then you have pathway. And then un unexpected income. Wow. Wow. So whoever that person is, this wealthy man, that person, their pathway is, um, it's like their pathway is being set clear. Yeah, they could be getting ready to receive some type of unexpected income once they move towards another direction. You have courthouse and then despair. So somebody is in bad health. The person that they're attached to is in bad health because some type of um, court situation um, ended. And they're in despair. Like they're ashamed. They're embarrassed. This also could be that whoever this person is, they're thinking about this privileged lady. Maybe... Somebody wanted that person to be in bad health. This could have been, a, you know, involved in a court situation. This person could have been, um, somebody could have said that that person was someone that was not in their right mind. Like they couldn't take care of their self. They were unstable. But it's like that person is on some type of journey. They're, they've started a new beginning. This person is working by their self, doing something, and they're gaining some type of unexpected income. Or it could be the other way around. You know, that person is distancing herself from whoever this privileged lady is and um that person is sick like that person could literally be sick and it's like they're in despair because some somebody got some type some type of justice came out like they're they're embarrassed or ashamed maybe they feel like they lost something this could have been a marriage you know um and somebody came out having justice and another person is in despair and they're um, dealing with some type of bad health. But it's like whoever this is with the pathway, once they go towards a whole other direction, this person is going to be gaining some type of unexpected income. Justice is going to be served for that person. Another person is going to be in despair. So you have the star. And then seven of wands. Wow. Okay. So these two people, whoever this person is, this is someone that is thinking about you. You could be this privileged lady or you can be the wealthy man. 
with the bad health. You know, I'm thinking to myself, what is this bad health? The star card popped out. So you could be someone that's a healer, a spiritual teacher. You know, you could have been healing from something. You could have went through some type of awakening, you know, and somebody wanted you to be seen as someone that was in bad health because you went towards a whole nother direction. But it's like that backfired. Somebody could have used that to try to keep that person blocked off from you. Like, don't go towards that person. That person is not right in their head. That person is not stable mentally or something like that. But whoever this is, these could be divine counterparts, the uh, privileged lady and the wealthy man. Like the great fortune is here. This could be the, you know, that person is someone that you're destined to partner up with. And um, somebody was trying to make you be seen as someone that was in bad health, but that all backfired. As I said, you could have been, you know, learning about spirituality, getting spiritually woke. And um, that person did not know that you were divinely protected. So now they're in despair because justice is being served. And you're also like working hard and gaining some type of unexpected income. Yeah, five of cups is here. It's like somebody is definitely like in, in despair. They're in regret. Wow. Nine of swords. It's like that person is stressed out. Somebody is only in regret because they got exposed. Everything backfired that they were trying to do. Whatever it is that you're doing, you were chosen to do this. And this person could have wanted to make you look bad in front of whoever this person is. The musician. And then Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Eight of <laughs> This is somebody that was trying to trick somebody, get inside their head. They didn't have anything to offer that person. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. They didn't want that person to desire you. If this is someone that, you know, was thinking about you a lot, they wanted to communicate with you or something like that, come towards you. They didn't want that person to desire you. So it's like they made up something to make it seem like you were in bad health and it backfired. And somebody just walked away and withdraw from the situation. Eight of Cups, whoever that person is. And now they're, you know, they're ashamed. They can't face that person. They can't face. This person don't want to be around anyone. It's like this person cannot believe something backfired. Or something came out. You have the chariot. Ace of Pentacles. And then Knight of Wands. And then the sun card is here. Yeah. So whoever this person is, this is someone that it's like this person, if they wanted that person to fear you, because I ain't no telling what they told this person about you to try to get this person not to desire you. If they wanted that person to fear you, it's like they're in this energy, fearless, ace of pentacles. They're, they wanted to come towards you with some type of offer or start a new venture with you, go on a journey with you. They look at you as someone that's very positive. They could see you as someone that, you know, went through some type of rebirth. Yeah, and they see that you're on the chariot. You have the nine of wands and then three of wands. Somebody is definitely sitting back in guilt for whatever decisions that they made. Like they were trying to hold on to that person. And this is why, like this is someone who did not want to be left behind. So they figure they can, you know, hold on to that person, make a decision to... Have that person not desire you with whatever they said about you. And they would be able to hold on to this person. Yeah, Seven of Cups is here. Somebody is definitely under judgment. Like if they, they tried to make you look bad and this was involved in some type of court situation, they're, they're under judgment. You have the Five of Pentacles here. That person could be financially cursed for whatever they did. Because this could have been about money. This person could have did this for financial gain. And um, they didn't know that this type of karma will come back on them. Yeah, Eight of Wands. And then the Seven of Swords. It's like somebody thought that if they, they did something deceptive, 
you know, cause some type of betrayal, they will get away with it and they will start manifesting something quickly. Wow. You have the Eight of Pentacles. And then the Page of Cups. Then you have the Queen of Cups. This person look at you as someone that is, you know, a very hard worker. Um, but you also nurture yourself. You love yourself. You take care of yourself. And you respect yourself. Because, like, they see you in this Queen of Cups energy. Then you have the Page of Cups. This person wants to <clears throat> say something to you, like um, express some type of emotion to you. Maybe this person wants to talk to you and have like an intimate conversation with you. You have the Ten of Wands. If this person distanced their self from you because of that person, um, they could want to apologize because they're weighed down with guilt. Like they're, they're just weighed down with a lot of baggage, a lot of guilt because they want to apologize. Could be hard for this person to apologize. You have the tower. And then the hangman. This, somebody went through a tower moment with whoever that person is that tried to make, th that did not want this person to desire you. And it's like they were stuck in a, a rock in a hard place in the hangman energy, like um, being forced to see something. So they can view things a whole nother way. Because the hangman can be like, okay, you're getting put in this situation so you could see something. It's up to you if you're going to change or if you're not going to change. You know, something. So some type of tower moment happened. A lot of stuff came out that this person possibly did not expect to see in whoever that person is that um, tried to make it seem like you were in bad health. You have the Hermit and then Four of Wands. This person, is, this person could be, you know, in the energy where they're just Spend a lot of time at home, um, not wanting to be around people. This person could feel lonely. That person could be, you know, thinking about you and missing you. You have the Ten of Swords. And then the Strength card is here. Yeah, it's like once this, this, it's like this person distanced their self not only from you, but they distanced their self after they found out they were betrayed. They came to a major realization that they were backstabbed. And it's like, whatever, whoever betrayed that person, it was somebody that was close. So it's like they needed to recover, gain their strength back. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Could have been a family member who did this. And then the Three of Swords. And then you have the lovers. Wow. This is somebody that knew about a spiritual connection. And the three of swords, this is definitely like a separation. So they were trying to keep you and that person in separation just because they figured if they can hold on to that person, they will be able to have some type of ten of pentacles or, um, you know, great fortune with the wealthy man. They really thought that if they kept you and that person in separation, that person would be able to, you know, have this by themselves. And that person is not woke. That person does not know that they have betrayal, you know, sneaky, deceptive energy around them. Their ancestors are not going to allow them to inherit their Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody thought that. You have the Queen of Wands and then the Four of Pentacles. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, this is somebody that's very needy and codependent. Maybe this person thought they had control over that person. You 
Yeah. They were desperately trying to hold on to this person. That person could be somebody that's dealing with some type of insecurity. And it's like they want that person to hold back from you so they could hold on to that person. And it was all about finances. And this message, they could simply got a tarot card reading as well with this message card. And they found out this person was, you know, somebody that was going to be able to build their Ten of Pentacles. But it's like, it's per if this person is not woke, they're not woke into spirituality. They're not clearing out negative energy. This person is not healing from different things that they need to heal. Um, cutting off things that no longer serve purpose in their life. And um, going in solitude. Knowing how to accept that, you know, being alone is just clearing, you know, negative energy away from them. And um, gaining their strength and their courage to be able to do whatever it is that they're happy doing. What makes them happy? Loving their self, taking care of their self, not just letting people pull and drain on them. Like somebody felt like they would have control if they kept that person attached to them. That person went through some type of tower. And they were put in the hangman energy so they could see something a whole nother way. So it's like somebody was holding on to something. This person is the person that's going straight and like straight into the five of pentacles. So this is about finances. This is sad. This person is wishing that things could be different. I will wait for a sign from you. You and I were too young. We will be together again. This is sad. I don't know why I'm getting this, but this person wanted you to be hurt. They wanted that person to be hurt. It's somebody that wanted you to go through some type of depression because they wanted that person to not desire you. They wanted to say, see, I told you something was wrong with that person. If this person was watching you and desiring you, you know, thinking about you and things like that. And it's like that person could have went through some type of depression or despair and they sat back and watched that person go through it. Or that person just isolated their self, went in hermit mode, you know, started spending a lot of time by their self and didn't want to be around anyone. Yeah, this was all out of jealousy. Yeah, somebody is jealous because you're someone that has a lot of confidence. So they didn't want that person to, you know, connect with you. As I said, that person is somebody that's very insecure. This Four of Pentacles energy. Yeah, exposure is here. They expose their self. Yeah, after this person reevaluated everything or had time to spend alone to be able to listen to their intuition, that person exposed their self. Stressing. Now it's like that person don't want to be around them, so it's like everything backfired. Yeah, suffering in silence. That person could be definitely like, you know, you're heavy on this person's mind. They're thinking about you. They're suffering in silence. They're sitting back reevaluating everything over and over and over again. This was definitely a secret hater, somebody you don't even know. You have face in jail time. That person could be under investigation. Trickery and then very intuitive. 
Yeah. With this very intuitive, it, it's like that person could know that you knew something. So it's like they tried to hurry up and jump. Maybe, maybe they knew that you knew that that person was your divine counterpart. And they thought that you were going to expose that to that person. So they figured they can try to hurry up and one up you out of jealousy to make it seem like you were crazy. Distance yourself from that person. Don't talk to that person. Because they knew that you knew this was your divine counterpart. But it's like you weren't even focusing on either one of these people. If you knew you were focusing on you, you were focusing on healing, you were focusing on your, you know, journey and working on yourself and doing the work that you wanted to do, you know, doing the whatever it is that you're destined to do, whatever you feel is your purpose, whatever you're happy doing. That's what you were focusing on. And somebody was trying to cause some type of trickery because they didn't want that person to know that you were their twin or you were their divine counterpart. It's like they knew you knew. <laughs> That's all I keep getting, but they didn't want that person to believe you if you said something. So they figured they can hurry up, try to one-up you, make you look bad. And it's not your job to tell that person that it's your twin. You found out on your own that that person is your twin they're going to find out on their own that you're their twin. You went through your own healing process. That person had to go through their own awakening, their healing process. So whoever this person is, it's like they just jumped to conclusions out of jealousy and exposed their self and created a, um, a tower. Because they know that you're someone that's very intuitive. Somebody could have warned that person about whoever did this or you could have warned that person. And they got scared because you're someone that's very intuitive. Yeah. You have a leader. And then bad karma. Yeah, you're definitely someone that's a leader. You have powerful ancestors. And then you have influencer. This is why this person is getting some type of bad karma. Because whoever you are, as I said, whatever you're doing, you're supposed to be doing it. You could be a healer. You could be a spiritual teacher. You're helping other people heal or get woke. That's what you were chosen to do. And this person thought that they were going to create some type of blockages for you because they wanted to hold on to your divine counterpart. And you're not even focused on your divine counterpart. You're focusing on you and the work that you're supposed to be doing. So this is why this person is going through whatever it is that they're going through, they brought it on their self. And it's like, it took for all of that to happen, a lot to come out for your divine counterpart to be in the hangman energy. Looking at things a whole nother way. Being able to gain some type of wisdom, get enlightened and make some type of change. You have Gemini. You could be a Gemini. One of these people could be a Gemini. Hidden enemy. Whoever that hidden enemy is, that person could have been a Gemini. And then boundaries is here. It's like they needed to learn some type of lesson about setting healthy boundaries with people. No matter who it is. You've changed. They were only dimming your light. So somebody could definitely notice that you're you're someone that have changed. If you detach from different people and set up healthy boundaries, they realize that the people that you were attached to, they were only dimming your light. And you've made healthy, healthy choices for yourself by setting up these boundaries. And when you do things like that, it's always going to be people that are jealous of you, hidden enemies. That's something you can't control. That's their problem. Eventually, they're going to expose their self for being wolf in sheep clothing. You have separation and then Scorpio. Yeah, somebody is definitely realizing that you and them are in separation. That person could have found out you and them are twins or you're their divine counterpart. You could be a Scorpio. One of these people could be a Scorpio. Yeah, they were trying to use children 
and then right path is here you're definitely someone that's on the right path they could have been trying to use children to keep that person attached to them. They could have did something to try to use your children to try to make it seem like you weren't cable or stable to take care of your children. You know, try to wrap you up in some type of um, court case or something like that because you're on the right path. And if that did happen to you, justice is being served for you and you're still on the right path. Yeah, and somebody is definitely panicking and they're in regret. It's like the, just to know that they did all of this to expose themselves, they're, they're in regret and they're definitely panicking. They don't know what to do. They done racked up all of this karma trying to desperately hold on to someone. This is sad. Somebody that you weren't even attached to. Separation is here. I'm so done. <laughs> Sagittarius is here. You could be a Sagittarius. That person, one of these people could be a Sagittarius. And then you have love interests. Karmic justice. So somebody is seeing karmic justice be served, being served for their love interests. Especially if somebody wanted to sit back and watch that, you know, have that person watch you, knowing that you were that person's love interest, create a whole bunch of um, trickery out of jealousy so that person would not desire you. That person would not know that you and them are divine counterparts. This is sad. They have jealous friends. Person has jealous friends attached to them. Taurus is here. You could be a Taurus. One of these people could be a Taurus. Aquarius is here. You could be an Aquarius. One of these people could be an Aquarius. Walked away. And then negativity. So yeah, somebody is definitely realizing that they have jealous friends. And they could have, as I said, distanced themselves from not only you, but a lot of people. Because now they're, you know, in a rock and a hard place. They're in the hangman energy force. To go through a tower force forced to go through a realization of the people that they're attached to you have new love and then needy and codependent they're experiencing bad karma they try to block your love life with this deception, with these lies. And it's like now they don't know what to do because of just karmic justice is being served for you. And they didn't know that everything would backfire. You're doing whatever it is that you're supposed to do. You're on the right path. So this is why you're divinely protected. It's like somebody just did something without thinking and didn't know that they would go through, you know, go through the consequences of receiving karma. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold, good or bad. And this is somebody that did not realize that. Or they were just accustomed to being in the Seven of Swords, doing a lot of stuff in a sneaky, deceptive way and getting away with it. So you have the world and then Queen of Wands. Six of Pentacles. And it's like whoever this person is, they thought, and then you have the food card. They thought once that person came towards you, you were going to need that person. Or they want that person to see you as someone that was very needy or codependent. Five of Pentacles type of energy. That didn't work. This person is viewing you a whole nother way. It's like they're viewing you for the energy that you're in. They're viewing that person for the energy that they're in. It's like that person is viewing you as someone that is very strong. You've overcame a lot. You're very focused. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're determined. You've completed something. You've accomplished something. You, you're fulfilled. You're also someone that they see as their equal. It's like this person could want to come towards you and give you something or they're viewing you as their equal. 
And somebody just did not want that person to look at you that way. Yeah, this is somebody that's stuck on you. They've got enlightened about who you are to them. You have the hangman again and then the two of cups. This is someone that has a... um. It's like they're viewing you a whole nother way. They see you as their two of cups. They want to partner up with you. This person could want to, you know, have a marriage with you, be married to you. It's like they're stuck on this connection. And they're heavy in their thoughts about you. You have the ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is someone that definitely, they, that's this person is just stuck thinking about partnering up with you and having a new venture with you. 